सब्जेक्ट हाइड्रोलॉजी चैप्टर इनफिल्ट्रेशन टॉपिक न्यूमेरिकल नंबर वन ऑन इनफिल्ट्रेशन कैपेसिटी नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज इनफिल्ट्रेशन कैपेसिटी व्हाट आर द वेरियस इक्वेशंस द हॉर्टन्स इक्वेशन द फिलिप्स इक्वेशन एंड अदर कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू द इनफिल्ट्रेशन कैपेसिटी क्लियर राइट नाउ लेट अस सॉल्व अ न्यूमेरिकल नाउ द न्यूमेरिकल सेज दैट Results to obtain infiltration capacity, right? Curve in exponential form. So in exponential form, it is given. Are tabulated below. So these are the curves. Uh, these are the uh, you can say uh, the results are given below, right? For the infiltration capacity, right? The equation of the curve will be. So the equation of the curve will be right. Now in this question, we have two methods. The first method would be the Horton's method. And the second method would be the Phillips method. So in Phillips method, hydraulic conductivity should be given and softivity should be given. So both the things are not given in this numerical. So what we will do is that we will apply the Horton's equation now, right? The Horton's equation. It is I told you that the field, the infiltration capacity is equals to F C, which is the steady state capacity plus F not minus F C. What is F not? The infiltration capacity at time t is equal to zero. E raised to the power minus k h. K h is the Horton's decay coefficient into time t. Okay. Now uh, I have to determine this equation. I uh, you can see the from the options itself. It is eleven plus one point o one point o plus something. So this is the form which in which I have to get the answer. Right. And what is this F C? F C is the steady state. It means that after some time it becomes constant. The graph I drew, right? This is the graph which I drew. After some times it becomes constant. Clear? Now let us see what is given to us in this question. So F P is F P given? Yes. For every time interval, F P is given. For every time interval, right? Is F not given? No. F not is not given, right? Is F C given? F C is the steady state. It means it is constant. So you can see that after 1.50 time interval in hour, after 1.50 hours. It is one and one, and even if you record the other data, it will be one, 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 one. That will be the same infiltration capacity. Okay. Now let us uh, now from the graph from this table, I can say that F C is equals to one point O centimeter per hour. From this graph, this is concept. This is concept, right? Nobody can teach you how how F C is this, right? If you if you understand this graph just by looking at this table, you will. Conclude that F C is one point two just by looking at the table. Okay. Now let us put it in the equation. So uh, you know that if I put F C is equal to one, so F P will become one point zero plus what is F not? F not I don't know. F not minus F C is how much? That is one, right? E raised to the power minus K H. How much is K H? I don't know into T. Now how many variables are there? So we have one. And two, two variables, right? So I need two equations to solve this, right? So how to solve this? Now let me rub this. Let me rub this part because F C I have already known, known, right? So now, now F P, F P is how much? Infiltration capacity at time t. So for every time interval, infiltration cap capacity is given to me, right? So what I have to do is that, right? F P F P is how much? Let us say for the this time interval. For this time interval, F P is five point six, right? So five point six will be equal to one point zero, one point zero plus, right? F not F not is how much? I don't know F not, right? So F not is F not. F not minus one e raised to the power minus k h minus k h. I don't know. Minus k into time interval. So 5.6 is for time interval 0.25, right? Into 0.25. So this is one equation because we have two variable. One variable is k h and other another unknown is sorry unknown variables unknowns, right? So one unknown is f not, another unknown is k h. To determine two unknowns, we need two equations, right? Now second equation would be let us say this. You can already take the you can also take this this is whatever you want, but I am just going serial wise. So this is 3.2. This is equation number one. Another equation will be 3.2 will be equal to that will be same 1.0 plus f not I don't know f not f not is the highest value I don't know on this graph which what is the value right minus f c is constant 
e raised to the power minus k h into time is how much? Time is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Clear? Okay? Now let me rub this and solve this question. Now let me rub this. Just looking at the options also, a few options you can eliminate. For example, this option you can eliminate because it does not have any fc plus something, right? fc plus it should be e raised to power something, right? So there is no fc, this option you can eliminate just by looking at the option, right? So this is also a trick while solving numericals and examinations. Just by looking at the options, you can eliminate a few options, right? So these are the two equations. So let us uh, uh, simplify equation number one. If I see this is equation number two. So if I simplify equation number one, take one here, it will be 4.6. So let me write it here. So 4.6 will be equal to f naught minus one, f naught minus one, e raised to the power minus 0 0.25 into kh, minus 0 0.25 into kh. Let me take one here, it will be 2.2, it will be equal to f naught minus one, e raised to the power minus 0 0.5 into kh, right? So this is equation number one dash, equation number two dash, modified equations. Let me divide these two, divide one dash divided by two dash. So I will be getting, if I divide these two equations, I will be getting 4.6 divided by 2.2 will be equal to, this will get cancelled out, it will be equal to e raised to the power minus 0 0.25 kh divided by e raised to the power minus 0.5 kh minus 0.5 kh right let me again simplify it let me rub that right so that it uh, i'm not rubbing it so that you should know the options right let me rub it okay yeah, i hope you are getting this numerical it's an easy numerical so it will be equal to 4.4 divided by uh, 4.6 divided by 2.2 whatever the value will be so it will be equal to 4 0.6 divided by 2.2 it will be equal to e raised to power minus 0 0.25 it will go to the numerator it will become plus right so e raised to power minus 0 0.25 plus e raised to uh, plus e raised to power 0.5 it will be equal to e raised to power plus 0 0.25 k h clear now what i have to take i have to take the natural logarithm of both the sides right if i take the natural logarithm ln i don't have to take the uh, that logarithm base 10, I have to take natural logarithm, right? So ln, why? Because this is e, right? 4.6 divided by 2.2 will be equal to 0.25k. ln of e, that will be equal to 1, right? So how much it will be? So let me calculate how much it will come out to be. So ln of 4.6 divided by 2.2, it will be 0.737 and divided by 0.25 so k will be equal to 2.95 so k h will be equal to 2.95 clear if k h is this much let me put put k h in any of the equations to get f naught let me put k h here right if i put k h here in this equation so i will be getting right 2.95 i will be getting 4.6 this will be equal to e raised to the power e raised to the power minus 0.25 into kh is how much 2.95 this is 0.47 divided by 4.6 taking inverse and will be and plus one right plus one it will be equal to 10.61 so f naught will come out to be 10.61 now i have no i have uh, now no uh, what is the value of f naught what is the value of kh and t will be t for particular time interval so let us say let us see that which equation is uh, which is the equation. So the equation will be f p will be equal to. Let me write it here. Let me write it here. So f p will be equal to f c. How much is f c? That is one. F c is one, right? One plus uh, f c minus f naught, right? That is f naught. How much is f naught? Ten point six one. So ten point six one minus how much? Ten point six one minus f uh, fc right how much is fc that is 1 right into e raised to the power minus kh into t minus 2.95 into t right minus 2.95 into t so if you solve it you will get fp will be equal to 1 plus 9.61 9.61 
e raised to the power minus 2.95 into t right if you look at the options so this is 11 point something discarded this is 1.11.0 e raised to power minus 3.0 this is also discarded this is 1.0 okay correct 10.6 right so 10.6 right i guess there was some mis there is some mistake in the options so this should be 9.6 right this should be 9.6 9.6 so this is accepted and this is this is all this was already discarded right so i hope that you have understood how to solve these types of numericals based on the Hortons equation, right? Now let us move to the next topic. In next topic, let us solve one more numerical to further our to further strengthen our concepts on this topic that is the infiltration capacity, right? So let's move to the next video. Thank you.